I'm lead producer on Diablo 3, so basically it's my job to um, help our programmers and artists and designers and everybody else involved with making this game um, to establish our schedules and our priorities and keep everybody communicating. And my job is to get this game finished and on the shelves. Alex, what are the main features here in Diablo 3? Well, it's Diablo. You know, it, it's going to feel like Diablo to you. Um, the main differences are that we brought it forward into the modern world. It's much more technologically advanced. The worlds are uh, more vivid, more um, more visceral. There's more to do. We have more randomization than we've ever had before. The game will never play twice, is the same way twice. We have. Uh, new characters to explore, a new skill system, a new rune system, we have crafting, we have an auction house where if you get that really incredible item that drops, you're going to have to decide, do I want to keep it or should I go online and sell it and cash out the money into my PayPal account. So we're doing a lot of stuff here um, and yet with all the new things we made sure it, First and foremost, it feels like a Diablo game. So when you first join the game, you might notice all these new things and think, wow, this is, this is all pretty new. But as soon as you start playing, you're like, oh yeah, this is Diablo. And that's what we've done. So man, it's been like 13 years when Diablo 2 were, were launched. So why did you took so long to, to launch this? Well, we had some other small games to make, like World of Warcraft and uh, StarCraft 2. Uh, you know, development didn't start immediately after Diablo 2 launched, you know. Um, it's really been more like half that time, but it's just been a long time since between releases. Um, but we haven't been working on it for 12 years. Uh, but the last, you know, five or six years, we've been really hitting it hard, and we finally, we finally got it done. Well, tell me now, finally, Diablo 3, is it worth the wait? Oh yes, it's worth the wait. I can't wait for it to launch because I want to play it myself. Because, you know, I, I grew up on these games before I ever worked at Blizzard, and um, I'm just as excited as anybody else to get my character going and, and get playing as well. Okay, now tell me, tell me about your, your experience in the video game industry. I started back in the mid-90s uh, as a level designer. I was lead level designer at a company called Zatrix Entertainment. We made the game Redneck Rampage that used the Duke Nukem 3D engine. I was lead designer on uh, the first mission pack for Quake 2, The Reckoning. Um, and then again on Kingpin, Life of Crime. Uh, after Zatrix, I moved up to Electronic Arts where I was creative director on the James Bond franchise. Um, I had a short stop with the, well, short four years, with the military uh, at the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey where I worked with a team of people to produce America's Army for the United States government. Um, and then after that I went down to Southern California uh, to be senior producer on StarCraft Ghost um, that with a company called Swinging Ape. We were eventually bought by Blizzard and when Ghost was shelved I was moved on to World of Warcraft, so I worked on Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King and uh, Cataclysm. And then uh, partway through Cataclysm, I found out that uh, the Diablo team needed a producer, and that was like the opportunity of a lifetime. So I had to jump off a of WoW and come onto this team to finish this game.